What is up, people of the internets? Um, so, uh, last time we did Art of War. And now we will be doing Lord Bassey's custom campaigns. He did uh, the Pachacuti campaign, which is definitely one of the tougher ones. Uh, and he did uh, the remasters on, I think, the Age of Kings campaigns. I'm not sure what else he did. Did he, I think he did Kotian, if I recall correctly. Pretty sure he did Kotian. Anyway, uh, what's what's the first one? The Golden Horde! The Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Never seen these, never played these, so... Just like with Philadelphia, uh, expect lots of fails ahead. Genghis Khan is dead, but the Horde rides on! Forgot I need to do voice acting again. After the first hostiles, uh, hostile contacts between the Mongols and the Ruses and the Kipchaks, which culminated in the Battle of the Kalka River in 1223, the great Khan Ogadai started another campaign in 1236. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same guy who did Kotian. He didn't have the same Kotian uh, background here. This time it was Batu Khan, Genghis Khan's grandson, who led the United Horde to Europe. The targets of his campaign were the Rus principalities and city-states, uh, which were already weakened by mutual rivalries. Again, we did this all in the... Uh, Kotian campaign. The Ruses learned of the imminent danger sufficiently early for Kuman refugees flee uh, fleeing the Mongols told of the enormous army that had assembled in the east and of its dauntless commander who was preparing the invasion of Volga, Bulgaria. Or Bulgaria. The Ruses noblemen Yuri II of Vladimir. Yuri II of Vladimir? decided to go into action against Batu Khan, and so he began recruiting an army. Yuri was familiar with the Mongols' tactics for war, for he had fought against Subutai's army in the disastrous battle of the Kalka River. Now the Mongols had returned. Yuri treated their envoys with disdain. Batu Khan, however, confident in his future successes, only laughed scornfully as he learned of Yuri's haughtiness. I guess that's it. So, wait, are we... No, we are Mongols. I hear the throat singing. Yeah, I thought we'd be Mongols in this campaign. Whoa, 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 whoa. 1236 AD, the city of Bulgar. Capital of Volga Bulgars. The Volga Bulgars. Bulgars. So vulgar. This is Bulgar. Oh, what a happy little town. Bulgarian traitor? The Mongols have promised me a great deal of gold if I succeed in killing the governor. I cannot refuse such an offer. What? Kill the governor of Bulgar? Well, I guess we are the Mongols. Is this the governor? Yeah, that's the governor. Also, the Bulgarian traitor is a Velo, a dismounted Velo, which is pretty funny. Sorry, miss... Oh, wait. You're locked? Oh, I guess we have to do... The classic. The classic that... Uh, was it Haiku of the Ronin? Wait. You received two wood. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> At least uh, Bassy made it very clear what I was supposed to do. I assume we'll get a base eventually or something. That's why I'm not looking into the objectives and hints and stuff too closely. It's time to finish the bloody act. Sorry, Mr. Governor. Treachery! Wait, there are two Bulgars. What? Now the Persians will be an easier target. Ah, uh, we die for Genghis Khan! Oh, wait, now I have to escape. I assume we'll escape out the city this way? You friendly? I, see, I don't like it when they you, reuse the same exact name. It makes things really confusing. Okay, that way is locked. So I guess we have... Wait, this way is also locked. 
I guess I'll just re-garrison the tower. Can I even do that? Wait, what? Uh, how do I get out? Oh, here we are. Thankfully, the Mongolian spymaster dispatched a ship that will carry me out of the city. Goodbye. Well, that was rather violent. Again, now... Two days later, at Batu Khan's camp, east of Bolgar. There's the, the man himself. Elite light cap. Cool. Stand aside, guard. I bring great news and demand to see the Khan. Khan! Batu Khan's horde has kind of crappy upgrades. Mighty Khan, it is done. The governor of Bulgar is dead. His life has been ended by my own hand. You bastard! Excellent. Without their leader, uh, the soldiers of Bulgar will be reduced to near chaos. Now it will be simple to conquer the city. Are we going to kill this guy? I feel like we're going to kill this guy. We depart today. By the end of the tomorrow, I'll be the new governor of Bulgar. Dash is clearly very excited about this. Um, before you depart, Venerable Khan, what about my payment? Oh yeah, this guy's totally dead. It's the classic. Yep, yep, yep. Classic, classic. Classic trope. Rip. Ha 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 ha. Um... Garrison at least eight of your warriors inside the castle in Bulgar. Batu Khan must survive. Okay, now we'll, now we'll go ahead and look through things. Uh, yeah, so Garrison and must survive. Oh, wait. There is this whole thing about helping us. <laughs> uh, we are restricted to a population of 160. Weird number. And cannot advance to the Imperial Age. The first task, the assassination of Governor Bulgar, is a puzzle of sorts. Use your knowledge about game mechanics of Age of Empires 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bassy, unlike like Philadelphia was like, no, you're just you're just gonna have to deal with it. Bassy's like, here's the answers. Uh, once you have control of Batu Khan's horde, you should focus on conquering a base, the city of Bulgar. Bulgar does not have many soldiers, but you will lose the fight if you get involved in too many skirmishes. At the beginning, the Mongols are technologically inferior to their opponents. Upgrade your soldiers as soon as possible. It is in the winter, so the rivers are too icy to be sailed by ships. What we just we just sailed away on one. Uh, Batu Khan's horde, gray-blue, has set up a small camp in the east and is preparing to invade Volga, Bulgaria. The horde consists of Mangudai and Lightcav. The Bulgarian city of Bulgar, very cleverly named, is located in the north on the eastern bank of the Volga. Batu Khan's plan is to conquer the city and use it as his base of operations. A, Bulgar of Bulgaria, a Bulgarian traitor has already been commissioned to assassinate the governor of the city. If the assassin is successful, the Mongols will have no trouble in conquering Bulgar, as uh, the city is only defended by a few soldiers. The city of Biliar is south of Bulgar. Uh, if the Mongols terrorize the town for a while, its inhabitants will surely give up the fight soon. The same implies for Suvar, another Bulgarian city which is in the west. Uh, the region to the south is controlled by the Kipchaks, a nomadic Turk Turkic people. The Kipchaks will not bow to the Mongols, but will instead try and fight back the invaders. The Kipchaks rely mainly on their well-trained cavalry archers and light cav. The Rus's principalities uh, lie to the west under the leadership of Yuri II of Vladimir. The Rus's armies have assembled to stop the Mongol invasion. Yuri will train boyars, crossbowmen, halberdiers, and caprams. He may also field onagers and swordsmen from time to time. You know, if he's in the mood. Alrighty. Oh, we have some caprams. We also have some Tarkins. Yeah, we have plus one attack um, for forging and fletching. So that's it. We are in Castle Age. I assume we'll follow the road. Following the road.
Doesn't look like there's anything between us and the city. But upgrades, these guys are plus one, plus one. So a little bit better upgrades than us. Mongols, run for your lives! You gotta love the elite light cavalry. That's pretty awesome. I wish they'd get upgrades, but since they are converted units, they will not. Alas. I kind of don't want to kill the villagers. Because, uh, we're, gonna, we're probably going to get the city turned over to us. Anyway, we actually don't need the rams because this is just a palisade gate. Wait, the castle's firing at us, but it's allied! What the hell?! We surrender, spare us! Get the town? The capital of the Bulgars is in our hands. Soon we will have subjugated the remainder of their empire as well. But more menacing enemies lurk in the west and south. Only by defeating the Russians and Kipchaks shall we uh, be the undisputed rulers of these lands. All right, so yeah, just like I thought, we get everybody. All right, so. Uh, we don't have enough stone for another town center. So I guess we'll go over here. Do we have any food income? Or, like, natural food? Sheep and stuff? My Khan, the Bulgarian cities Suvar and Viliar are, are still resisting. Perhaps we should subdue them, but spare the inhabitants so they could supply us with resources and ancillary troops. Yeah. We do we even have a mill? We don't even have a mill. What kind of capital city is this? Anyway, we're all, we already have a very large army, so we can at least deal with uh, Villar and Suvar. Wait, our main objectives are... Okay, we have to oh, just destroy their town centers. Defeat the Kipchaks by destroying at least two of their three castles, kill the Russians' leader Yuri II of Vladimir, and yeah, Batu Khan still must survive. It's going to be kind of slow to start up because we have so little food income. I guess we can buy some wood. But yay, it's a booming scenario! Yay! Oh, Suvar is neutral. And I assume, uh... Biliar is too. Yeah, so we just need to snipe their town centers. This shouldn't be all that hard. Uh, we have a pretty big army. Before the Tartars kill us all! Wrong, we're Mongols, we're not Tartars! Anyway, we'll try not to uh, ransack too much else. But yeah, I'm not too concerned about preserving these units other than, you know, Batu Khan. Uh, because, like I said, they don't benefit from any upgrades we get. 
Because that is not how the game works, unfortunately. Okay, they should ally with us. They should ally with us. Please ally with us. Please stop killing my rams. There we go. Stop the carnage. From now on, we will assist you. All right, Suvar. Oh, that's a terrible location for a new town center. Oh, look. They're actually going to become our allies and help us out and shit. Cool. I like it when we have NPC allies that are, like, legitimate allies. Men, string your bows and saddle the horses. We are going to war. War! Oh, it's just a scout. Honestly, a little bit of a consistency uh, irk here. The Russian should be red, and the Kipchaks should be green for uh, the Russians in Genghis Khan. Seriously. But yeah, the Russians in uh, Genghis Khan are red, and you play as green in the uh, Kuman campaign. Okay, now that's definitely more of an army. That's more of an army. You can send back the boys. Oh, we don't need these archers slowing us down. Where the hell are these archers? Yeah, they are. Here they archer. Oh, these long swordsmen. Alright, let's... Wait, how did they get in? I don't have any units nearby that would have opened the gate for them. Oh, it feels so good to be booming again. No more actually having to be skilled. Oh, I guess skilled with micro. I can channel my inner doubt. But yeah, they are in Imperial Age. They don't have imp upgrades, but they are, you know, in that age. Uh, that's a trebuchet, actually. But yeah, definitely gonna focus on the Kipchok... Or not Kipchoks, uh, Mangudai. I'm gonna mix in some Step Lancers, too, because Mongols have those now. And they didn't have those when I was playing Genghis Khan on DE. Alright, let's get the other one. Sorry, Suvar. Um, actually, let's make a scout. I just want to see what the surrounding area is like. Although, I guess Suvar is also scouting for us. Again, rather strange that their town center is now located on the outside. I'm, I'm sure there isn't a way for the AI to actually rebuild the town center right there. But it's just kind of funny looking. But I'm glad we actually get them as an ally. Ah, yes. Uh, I mean, the guard towers will hold for a little bit, but we should start getting some Mangudai rolling of our own. Okay, again, let's just focus the town center. At least as best we can. Mongols, we are doomed for certain. They're using the exact same lines as uh, Age of Kings, which is a nice touch from Bassi. To me, it's amazing how like Bassi and Philadelphia can just like make these great campaigns just so quickly. <laughs> it's 
Stop! There we go. Spare us, mighty Khan. From now on, we will support your cause. You will support our GoFundMe page. There is some stone over here. Clean out. Oh, what the hell? Those bears have 700 food! I wonder if I can hunt them. Okay, there is some more gold over this. This way. We don't want to go too ham on the villagers. Much as we are want to do. Our allies are even scouting for us. Good job, Suvar and Biliar. So, let's see, we have 160 pop. For 150 pop scenarios, I usually like... Oh, they're tributing us. Oh, you guys are too kind. I mean, obviously we would have uh, brutally murdered you if you didn't, but, you know, it's still... Oh, uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Let's, uh... Let Batu Khan retire to a nice life in a castle. Yeah, because uh, our army's gonna get clapped. One might even say turbo clapped. I was just looking for some room. Let's make some step lancers. Oh, drill and siege engineers researched. Holy shisa! Death to all those. Hey, it's Subotai! Oh, here's Orda. Again, Orda, you will now retire to a nice, quiet life. Okay, thankfully the bears still deal very little damage, but it looks like we can hunt them. That's pretty neat. Oh god! Well, rip Billy R, man. You, uh, you tried. Oh, we have a ton of resources now. Uh, we can't go in. Uh, let's go bail out our allies just a little bit. Get some swork shops going. I don't think Subotai has to survive. I hope he doesn't. We're coming, Billy R. City. Yeah, I don't have one. No, I do have one. I lied. Don't worry, Billy R. We got your back. Unless you, you know, try and betray us, and then we're, you know, gonna kill you all again. But, you know, until then, we got you. Okay, we do have capped ram, which is very nice because we are stuck in Castle Age. And Mongol Step Lancers are going to be pretty good in Castle Age because we have 98 HP, and the fact that we missed the last armor shouldn't be as, but I see a large orange blob heading towards poor Suvar. Oh, poor Suvar, man! Okay, time to go bail out Suvar. Because they appear to be on a one way trip to Frown Town. Uh, where are our other units? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. They're stuck. Gold. Into the wilderness. 
crap. I'm not just uh, protecting my allies out of kindness. I mean, I, it's nice to have them as a, a you know, a bulwark against the enemy. Where is my huge army? Here it is. But our allies are looking pretty dead. Pretty dead. So let's just go forward. Fourth cowards. But yeah, I mean, even though we don't have Imperial Age and they do, they don't have all the Imperial upgrades, so that's not the end of the world. Oh, thanks, Suvar. You know, you're probably getting wrecked by the Russians. Actually, no, Suvar is doing just fine. Yeah, we have Drill, um, which is makes me very happy. One, because it makes our siege better, and two, because it saves us a lot of time. Because, <laughs> like, my biggest problem with these uh, scenarios where you can't get to Imperial Age is it's just, it can take a very long time to destroy all the buildings. Oh, also, uh, unlike Phil Philadelphia's campaigns, uh, there's only three of them. Or they're vastly only made three campaigns, but they all have multiple scenarios per campaign, I believe. I don't remember. I, I mean, I just looked at the uh, little descriptions they had in the mod center, which is where you can download all of these, by the way. You can just search in uh, Phil Philadelphia or Bassy AOC. And you can play them yourself. Oh, whoops. Yeah, this army's pretty badass. Is there no gold to be found? Sure, there has to be gold somewhere. The Mongols destroyed one of our castles. Oh no! I mean, I, I, I'm logically, I, it's mathematically probable that I'll find gold one of these days. <laughs> Wait, there's gold right here. Duh. Yeah, I believe there are three scenarios in this campaign, if I recall correctly. Which you'd think I'd remember, because I, I just downloaded it like, you know. Oh, there's also gold right here. Let's take some of our farmerinos and get a forward castle down. Because you only need to destroy two of the three Kipchak castles. Oh, my villagers! Lol! Seems like the enemies all have infinite resources, but it's not constant unit spam. It, or rather, it's not like infinite resources so much as they don't have economies. They probably just get tributed resources on a regular basis. Oh! That's a big old army. Let's get some reinforcements going, shall we? God damn it. Hey, some Mangadai! Awesome. Whoa! 
Kipchaks are weak. Just look at those cowards flee before our warriors. Sick. So, I mean, they just seem to have one big camp, you know, straddled. Straddling the south bits of the map. Oh, hi. My name's Ornlu. I mean, not really, but, you know, my online handle is Ornlu. Anyway, the Russians will probably be a bit more of a challenge. Because they have, you know, the heavy siege and whatnot. Oh, poor Billy R. Man. These guys are just, uh, they're just not having a great time of things. Alright, let's see what these guys... Let's see what they got. Totters! Mount the walls! Again, we are Mongols, not Totters. They are two distinct peoples. Yeah, they only have post-castle age upgrades, it seems. Yeah, I got all my upgrades. Okay, we just have to kill the uh, Yuri, the second guy. Oh, I guess he's over there. But, I mean, I, I have a little bit of food banked up, so I guess I can sell some. The Mongols have breached the walls! We are doomed! You bet you are! Hooray, Mongols! Is not what the Russians are saying right now. <laughs> It's what we're saying. Even Dash is excited for the Mongols. You know, we're kind of cruising our way to victory in this first scenario. It wasn't really all that hard. That's fine if this like if this is a multi campaign or multi scenario campaign. The first one being rather straightforward like this isn't really something I'd complain about. It's more you know the, the introduction. It is fun getting to add in step lancers. I don't really know if they have been especially helpful. You know, more so... Oh, here he is. Rip. I don't know if they've been helpful more than Light Cav, but hey, they look cool. We've wiped out the Russian army and killed their pathetic leader. Feels bad, man. We've achieved an important victory today, but the war will continue until we have subdued the whole world. Um. Yay! I mean, we pretty much explored the entire map. I mean, it was nice to have these little allies helping us out, and them. everything looks nice, but obviously it wasn't all that hard. 
It took Batu Khan a year to annihilate the resistance of the Volga Bulgars and the Kipchaks. After the Mongols had conquered and destroyed all the cities of the, on the Volga, they moved westward to attack the forces of Yuri II of Vladimir. Yuri fled northward across the Volga, where he hurriedly mustered new troops. While still trying to gather his forces, he was again attacked by the Mongols. Yuri tried to escape a second time, but was assass assaulted and slain near the Sit River. Well, I guess they told him just to sit down for a while. His death and the sack of his capital marked the end of the unified resistance to the Mongol invaders and inaugurated two centuries of Mongol dom domination over the Rus' principalities. Ripperino for the Rusachinos. Well, that was a pretty nice KD. Yeah, it looks like uh, the, the neutral cities were... Actually, no, these guys gathered stone and gold. Were it tributed food and wood? And the Kipchaks were just tributed everything? I don't know. And we hit Castle Agent one second and Kipchaks hit him. But yeah, I'm not, these guys didn't have a bunch of workers or anything. Anyway, that was Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Next up will be Battle of the Nomads. See you guys then.